It's time to talk bourbon. One of my favorite topics. And there's a lot to talk about. In 1783, the same year that the Revolutionary War ended, the first commercial distillery opened in Kentucky. And ever since then, bourbon fans have just been hooked. And now that universe is really expanding. Uh, here to talk about the history of bourbon here in the tri-state is Brad Bonds, one of the co-founders of Revival Vintage Bottle Shop in Covington. And Brad, uh, uh, thanks so much for joining us. I have been known to uh, take a sip or two or <laughs> a little more of bourbon. So I, I have so many questions. I, I have so many questions. Your specialty uh, is, is vintage bourbon, right? Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, tell us what yes, you mean by vintage bourbon. Um, you know, to me, uh, vintage bourbon would still have the tax seal on the top of it. So the, uh, you know, typically it's red. Um, you know, they stopped that in the mid 80s. So, um, you know, if it's from the mid 80s or older, uh, that would be vintage bourbon to me. Uh, you know, it's, uh, it's inconceivable almost for me to think of somebody having a bottle of bourbon that's uh, 20 years old that has not been opened. So, uh, <laughs> uh, so where, do you, where do you find these vintage bottles? Um, you know, just the, the people that are watching on TV right now, um, we're looking for them to look in their basements and uh, and uncover this stuff. I, I think people, you know, don't really know what they have, and uh, I'm happy to tell them about it. So um, that's that's basically where we're finding it. Yeah. How do you find out about uh, these, uh, what I believe would be obscure labels? Uh, they wouldn't be what yeah. you find on the shelves today. How, how do you find out more information about that? As, as far as vintage obscure labels? Yes. Yeah, uh, you know, you can come in. I'm happy to talk to you about it. Uh, you know, there, there's so many out there distilleries that, that shut down, uh, you know, after prohibition that uh, don't exist anymore. So there's, there's just so much history that, uh, you know, didn't make it out of that time. Yeah, uh, is there something uh, about one that will make one more valuable than another? Uh, is uh, something that is more desirable than another? Yeah, I mean, it's kind of like baseball cards. There's, you know, there's common bottles and then there's, you know, Babe Ruth, Babe Ruth rookie cards. So I would say Jim Beam's kind of more of the common card. And then, uh, you know, your Stitzel Weller, um, Old Fitzgerald's going to be more of your, uh, your, you know, Mattingly rookie card. Okay, now the re Revival is, is uh, going to be opening up, what, in a couple of weeks? No, we're opening uh, today. We're cutting the ribbon at 430. Oh, excellent. So uh, wear your mask, come down. We'd love to have you. So you got to tell me what revival is. How you would describe what revival is? It's not quite a bar, uh, but yeah, what, what, so what revival is, it? is uh, revival's bringing vintage back. So we are, uh, you know, we're trying to bring back what was old and make it new again. So uh, you know, we have we have different options at the bar to try. It basically starts out at five bucks a taste. We have probably six different options, and uh, we're trying to be aggressive. So we don't want to be a museum. All right. Speaking of being aggressive, once you pop the top on that on that bottle, you know, uh, do you taste it till it's gone? Uh, yeah, yeah, yes, sir. You that's, got what it. I, that's what I, I want. Like to have you. I, I needed to know that. <laughs> <laughs> I just needed to know that. Uh, where are you exactly in Covington? Uh, we are on. Uh, uh, we are five East Eighth Street, uh, Covington, uh, about a block away from Hotel Cove, and probably a couple blocks from Braxton. All right. I guess uh, ultimately you're just going to be a really unique stop on the Bourbon Trail, right? Yes, sir. Probably the most unique out there. So uh, we want everybody to come see us. We have something for every price range. All right. That sounds great. Brad, thank you so much for telling us about Revival and its opening today. Yes, sir. Thanks for having me. Really appreciate it.